Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome aboard if you're new. As we surge forward into 2023, I've been really lucky to have another opportunity to introduce you to a brand new brand, well brand new to me anyway, and that is Penelope's Tears Dark Beauty. And this is a spooky beauty box that the owner and proprietor and creator behind Penelope's Tears, lovely Melissa, has sent me so that I can show you a little bit more about what she does and tell you about the things that she makes. So before we get into it, don't forget to like. I mean, clearly you're going to like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't become one of my lovely subscribers and the tribe of us lovely, lovely, strange beings is getting bigger almost by the day. So you wouldn't want to miss out on that, I'm sure. Um, if you'd like to buy me a Kofi, obviously it's New Year. We're all a lot poorer than we were before Christmas, so... If you can, you can. If you can't, doesn't matter. And before, without further ado, I'll just tell you a little bit about Melissa and the products, and then I'll show you them in detail. The first thing to tell you is that I'm wearing a pair of her wonderful lashes. She, on her website, which I'll show you some pictures from, she has 10 different, very different styles of lashes. She also has an eyeliner glue pen, which is rather lovely, I think. And these lashes are just too luxurious for words. Are they not the most incredible things you've ever seen on my eyes on this channel? They really are so beautiful and so soft, actually. I mean, you would think with lashes this big, I don't know how she gets them so soft, but they're very, very soft. And of course they're cruelty free and vegan. That goes without saying. She also has um, accessories such as hairpins and earrings and necklaces and skincare as well. And apart from all that, she does lip glosses, lip balms. I can't stop touching them <laughs> and lipsticks and Basically, she's told me all about what happened that made her start making lipsticks. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that after we've seen what's inside the box. And I'll tell you a bit more about the giveaway as well. So let's have a little bit of a closer look, shall we? Here is the lovely box. Penelope's Tears Dark Beauty. And when you open it, I've got this rather delightful card. And I really like this font as well. Beware, for I am fearless and therefore powerful. Which I think describes um, how we would all like to be. And there's a note for me on the back. And that's from the lovely Melissa, who is the powerhouse and inspiration behind Penelope's Tears. So I'll just put this over here and I'll open the box. And we have a little lolly, which she assures me is vegan and it is dark cherry. So that's nice. We have a little sticker, which I'm going to put on something. I don't know what yet. Possibly my makeup drawers. We also had this little bat ring, which is just too adorable. And that may have to go somewhere in my collection of things. And here is the inside and the what you've all been waiting for, basically. The lashes are in the style Lotus Eater and they're the ones that I will be wearing, obviously, in the video. And would you look at this packaging? I mean, really, seriously, is that 
not the greatest packaging you ever saw. I have to admit to squealing rather loudly when I first opened this box. So two seconds and look it's like a little well a little vampire lying in its own almost velvet lined coffin and these are the incredible packaging um, designs for the bullet lipsticks this one is in the shade Eldritch and we'll get onto that in a moment and this one is in the shade Ferryman so going to the first one first let's have a look at Eldritch and Eldritch well we all know Andrew Eldritch the lead singer of the Sisters of Mercy but did you know that Eldritch is in fact an old Scottish word and it means weird, ghostly, unnatural, otherworldly, all those good things. And this particular lipstick is a semi-matte um, and it has got a tiny bit of sparkle in it. So I'm just going to swatch it on my hand because both these lipsticks are going to be in the giveaway and I have cleaned my hands so I have no germs oh look at that that's lovely that is really really nice and it's very soft as well very very soft so that's Eldritch and the next one, or the second one rather, is called Ferryman. And this is mostly matte. Now, Ferryman, I'm imagining, refers to Charon, the uh, figure from Greek mythology who is a ferryman who ferries the souls of the dead across the river Styx into Hades. And this particular one, um, Melissa informs me, is mostly matte. So let's have a look at this one. Oh yeah, look at that. That's very black. Ignore the lumps and bumps on my hand. That's just an old lady's hand. So, you know, there we go. And that is Ferryman. And that's a sort of blacker black. I just thought I'd give you a chance to have a look at the lashes out of the packaging so you can just see how marvelous and enormous and fluffy they really are i mean i mean they're huge let's face it and on the back of the box look at this you are beautiful you are radiant you are powerful i think i definitely would like to see that um, greeting me every time I put a pair of lashes on and it confirms here cruelty free synthetic lashes and there's more it even comes with a little spoolie to help you mush them into your own lashes so there they are are they not out of this world I want you to know a little bit more about Melissa and Penelope's Tears before you rush over to her website and start buying everything. Um, she was still at high school when she graduated from cosmetology school with a license and that was back in the 80s and then it wasn't until during the pandemic because she'd also gone on and got an actual degree in engineering that she decided to put her cosmetology skills and her engineering skills together and start making lip glosses and lipsticks. She had previously um, run a club as well, a goth club called the Voodoo, what's it called? The Voodoo 
House of Voodoo, that's it. Sorry, Melissa, it was called House of Voodoo. And that was in San Francisco um, in the late 90s, early 2000s. And she's still based up there in San Francisco, which I must say, when I visited there in 1988, it was the most amazing city and I just didn't want to leave, but I did, clearly. Um, so yes, so she decided to have a go at making these things and the result is these phenomenal products that we have now and she tells me that they are not actually completely vegan because the bullet lipsticks contain beeswax but she has obtained that and sourced that from a reputable single hive producer of beeswax. And I'm gonna be giving you a chance now to win both those lipsticks that I showed you, the Eldritch and the Ferryman, in a giveaway. I'm not gonna be sending them to my lovely American viewers because it's easy for you to go on her website and buy them and I think that because the other side of the world it's a little more difficult for people to get hold of them I'm going to and also I'm very poor I'm going to restrict the giveaway to the UK Europe um, fringes of that sort of thing so all you need to do is be subscribed of course which obviously most of you are and to leave me a little sentence telling me why you think the name of the brand is Penelope's Tears. Okay, so be subscribed and leave me a little sentence, doesn't have to be an essay, as to where you think the name Penelope's Tears has come from. So with that being said, it just remains for me to say Thank you very much for watching. Here are the two lovely little coffins that I showed you earlier with their beautiful, just gorgeous lipsticks inside, nestling away in there. And these, I mean, these, have you ever seen a packaging like this? Because I certainly haven't. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, um, don't forget, um, I expect you've liked and subscribed. If you are able to buy me a Kofi, go right ahead and do so. If you're not, it doesn't really matter. And of course, let us gather our pets and fur babies and scale babies and all the other sorts of animal type babies that we have to us. Love them very, very much, everybody, because they certainly love you back because they depend on you. And I will see you next time, but only if you stay strange. So, see you then.